In my last episode, I started this project by pulling down this old green trellis fencing and putting rails on these old wonky fence posts, ready to hang a new gate and in preparation for building a modern black fence. The fencing material is these cross laminated tongue and groove panels called CLT mini panels from a local New Zealand company called Laminata. The panels are composed of multiple 15mm horizontal pine core elements with 7mm pine veneers running the full length of both sides. These panels are treated to H3.2 which means that they can be used without any further treatment or finish, but I'm applying a coat of oil with a tint to give the fence that modern black look. CD50 is a popular clear timber protection oil that can be tinted with a range of colours. I've chosen black ash which is one of the darkest tones and achieves a deep, dark, mystical, understated matte black that blends in with the environment and complements its surroundings very handsomely. To complete the modern fence look I'm using three rows of closely spaced 10 gauge Torx head stainless steel screws countersunk just below the surface to create a prominent intentional visual element that attracts the eye to its laser straight lines. So I'm about to bust into the oil. Right, so this is clear oil. And this is the tint. This is the black ash tint. Dump it all in here. Okay, goodbye. And to be honest, it doesn't look like it's enough to do anything. But this is the right amount. This is uh, enough to tint four liters of oil. Before I oil the boards, I give them a quick sanding to 80 grit, mainly to provide a consistent texture in the wood to soak up the oil evenly. But if there's any mill glaze or a little dags or nasties, this sanding will remove all that too. The oil goes on super easy. I'm using a mini microfiber roller and it took no time at all. The recommendation is one coat initially, further maintenance coats are required later on, in about a year or so I think it is. The dry time is about three days, so I just put the panels outside for three days and kept an eye on them. It was kind of like watching paint dry, except this isn't paint, it's oil. In case you're wondering, it isn't stain either by the way, it's oil. I got to work three days later screwing these panels to the frame. I used 10mm packers and wedges to keep the panel in position while I drove in the screws. By the second and third panels I was running into the end of the gudgeon pin for my gate hinge and my panels were already not level along the top. At this point I figured out that the retaining board at the bottom that I was using as my reference was low at the sides and crowned around the right hand side of the gate. If I continued to use this as my level line my fence would also end up low at the sides with a peak in the middle. So. I decided to set up a datum line. A datum line is an arbitrary horizontal plane of reference from which all vertical dimensions are taken. I guess not everything in real life is 1000 million percent as accurate as SketchUp, huh? Who uses SketchUp anyway? So now I have to create this arbitrary imaginary virtual horizontal line and not being in possession of a spirit level that is long enough or trustworthy enough I went out and dropped 700 bucks on this sweet laser level. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Some $690 cheaper than that was this length of plastic tube with which I create a water level. A water level uses this new technology called gravity to push the water at either end of the tube to exactly the same level, thus providing a dead nuts datum line certified by God himself 
or whoever else is running the universe these days. So once I've used my water level to mark two points that are 100% level, I measure up from each point an arbitrary distance, just enough so it doesn't interfere with my boards, and I pull a string line through which then becomes my datum line. And now, if I line my boards up with the string line, the top and bottom of my fence will be 1000 million percent as accurate as SketchUp. And in keeping with the Dead Nuts theme, I also picked up this sweet plumb bob to A. Keep my boards dead nuts and 2. Calibrate my shitty spirit level, which turns out to be pretty accurate and usable after all that. Now if it weren't for that pesky gate, all that would be left to do would be screwing on panels. But alas, there is that pesky gate, and if you recall from the last exciting episode, the framing is offset forward from the wonky old posts and the gate to ensure that the new fence panels go on plumb. So I have to pack the gate out a bit to get to the same plane. But once that's done, it's... Ooh, that's tight! So the process from here on in is just offer a panel up to the frame, level it up with a datum line, clamp, chuck in a couple of screws, check plumb, and finish screwing it off. Rinse and repeat. I'll leave you with a brief construction montage, but this time with a French accent and slightly louder music. What follows is a brief construction montage. Rob T here. In this exciting episode, some very simple jazz chords. Mm -hmm.